My name is Jamila, and I just wanted to welcome you all to Positive Cooking Vibes. And what better way to welcome you all than by cooking? So, for tonight, I will be serving pan-seared pork chops and some veggies. So, we've got carrots, zucchini, and squash. Of course, our pork chops, my special seasoning mix, rosemary, adobo, and Land of Lakes butter. We've got our vegetables all nice and chopped up and ready to go. Look at those pork chops, y'all. And now we're gonna season our pork chops, get them coated evenly. So now I've got my pork chops nice and seasoned and ready to go. What we're gonna do is you're just gonna add some butter to the skillet and let it melt. Um, I am using unsalted butter because unsalted butter doesn't burn. Good tip. So anyway, um, and also this wonderful skillet was bought for me for my birthday by my wonderful neighbor, Elizabeth. Isn't she sweet, y'all? Check out this skillet. It is so nice. And it comes with the lid, so that's a plus. Okay, so once our butter is melted, I like to add rosemary. So I'm just gonna add a little sprig of rosemary and then we can start adding our pork chops, our nicely seasoned pork chops. You hear that sizzle? Means it's hot and ready. Put them pork chops in there. And we don't wanna overcrowd our pan or anything. So we're just gonna add these three because that's enough for the skillet. And then we're just going to let them brown on this side. And then once they're brown on this side, we'll flip them over and brown the other side. All right, you all. It's been about five minutes and my pork chops are nice and brown. So I'm going to go ahead and flip them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And you know, if you want yours a little darker, you can keep searing them. It just all depends on what you like. Go ahead and switch that butter around. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and pour those in there. Stir them around. Now, I probably do my vegetables a little different, but it's just because my husband really likes his vegetables crispy, and I try to get him to eat as many vegetables as possible, so we're gonna do it the way to where he'll eat them. So I'm adding just a little bit of water to my skillet and not too much because as I stated, we like for the vegetables to be really crunchy. And then I'm gonna put my handy dandy steamer on top if I can find it. All right guys, so I've got my little steamer on top. We're gonna let them steam probably for just about five minutes. All right, I have returned to our vegetables. They are done. They're crunchy. They're the texture that we like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make a plate so you all can see the finished product. All right, my beautiful people, I am back. And I've got our meal all completed. We've got our pan seared pork chops. I added some lemon to the plate just because I used herbs and I just think herbs and lemon go really good together. We've got our squash, our carrots, our zucchini, and our broccoli. Oh, and a glass of wine for me. Thank you all for watching and just keep those positive cooking vibes going. Good night.